this is, we're on our way to Pensacola to go to Newland. This is Mobile. Mobile, Alabama, home of Jimmy Buffett. And a big battleship. The USS Alabama, which we'll see at soon. This is the port of Alabama, it's Orla. skyscrapers of Alabama. There's some horses crossing the road. Uh, police horses. <laughs> On the... We're going... Down east. Pensacola. And I'm... All, I'm we're going to go through the tunnel. The, the convention center. I'm at science center. We'll be there in one hour, 15 minutes. Okay, we're going down into the tunnel.
Well, we just arrived here at the Blackwater River as a primitive camping spot in Blackwater State Park. It's only just a few miles from the uh, Blackwater Canoe where we'll be getting a show from tomorrow morning. So this is this little bluff right here is where we'll be camping tonight. Right here. It's not too far of a walk. Unfortunately, we're not able to drive right up to it, but it's only a little ways. So I'm not going to complain too much. But we've made it. Um, looking around for firewood. We're going to have to hunt for it. Hmm. What else do we worry about that? A little bit. Yeah, here's a vehicle. Not too far of a walk. This is at a public boat ramp. All right, back. We're back. This is the Blackwater River, Eaton Bridge. We are fixing to start our 32-mile journey down this river. Might get into some thunderstorms. Might get into a little bit of flooding. We're not scared. But we're not scared. So, bon voyage. We'll check back in later. Bye bye. Okay, we're back and we just stopped a little break to get a little bite to eat. Um, yeah, it's real beautiful so far. Um, Very pretty. We saw a huge snake. We saw a black fox squirrel. Um, what else? <laughs> but there's a pileated woodpecker up there. Okay, so first stop. Hey, we're back. We stopped again. See, this river's close to a helicopter training base. These guys have been flying over all day. Is that full? Yes. Why can't you get it full? Because it's film video tank. It shrink. It closes in the water. I'm gonna have to fill it up for you, Anna. I'm going to fill it up with a water bottle. An empty water bottle. <laughs> of course. Uh. We're filling up our shower <laughs> so that we make it have a shower later. Looks like we're going to get showered on. Um, we're not scared. Early humans survive this kind of thing all the time. One weird thing has occurred. About an hour back, we were coming around the bend. And lo and behold, there was a dude just laying there on the side of a sandbar in the middle of nowhere. There was no boat ramp around. There was no state park. There was no signs of civilization at all. Just a guy out in the middle of nowhere laying down on the sandbar. He popped up. He did have on a military shirt and dog tag, so I have a theory thinking that they may be doing training exercises and trying to locate him out here. I'm not sure. That's the only thing that makes sense. Otherwise, I don't even want to know what he was doing out here like that. But he was anyway. very suspicious. He looked suspicious. We got the hell out of there. He was, there out, he was just looking at us. I, I got out of there as quick as I could. I didn't want to stand around and I didn't want to do a stop and chat with a guy in the middle of the <laughs> river. <laughs> That's definitely not a stop and chat worthy situation. 
You don't stop and chat with a guy laying down in the middle of a river on a sandbar. <laughs> America, you don't. Don't do that. Especially in northwest Florida. This place, I think, is the redneck capital of the world, to be honest with you. See? Here, here another helicopter. Are you going to feel that? I'm going to need a lot more water than that to take a bath here. <laughs> I, get, I get it first. <laughs> I'll dunk, you I'll dunk you in the river. <laughs> trying to see if I can get this other helicopter. It is starting to. I looked at the weather map. Um, still showing an 80% chance of rain Saturday, so we may get rain on tonight. I don't know. Still another helicopter. The only thing about my theory is the guy they're doing a search. Uh, training exercises that I oh, was way over there. I don't know if, see it. Um, if they were searching for someone, you think they'd go along, like down, follow the river. These guys just keep crossing back and forth, nonstop, literally. They're nonstop. That's the only drawback about this beautiful place is that it has helicopters. But on the bright side, if you know anything were to occur and an emergency happened, there's Helicopters everywhere. I and mean, look at I me, mean, look at the size of this sandbar. That could land on this thing. Alright, well, I just looked at the map. We got a ways to go, but we got two days. Um, I'd like to get a lot of river under us today, so if it does rain tomorrow, we wouldn't have to worry with as much. So that's my plan. Um, I plan on canoeing as far as I can get today. And, uh, yeah, that's where we're going to do it. So we'll check back in later. Bye-bye. Bye. And we're back. We, we're not too far from the last little spot, but this is kind of cool. You really can't tell in the video, but it's kind of like where a creek comes into the river and the sand washes in. It's like a darker color sand than the rest of it. So I guess that it's coming from a different area of, um, I don't know, it's neat looking. We just saw some sort of raptor. Um, I, I don't think I've ever seen one like it. I know what a red-tailed hawk looks like and all the common hawks around here. It could have been some sort of hawk I've never seen, but I'm thinking I'm going to put money on either a Mississippi kite or some sort of falcon. I don't know if falcons are around here, though. Um, Mississippi kites is what I got my money on. Or it could have been some sort of hawk that I've never seen. But we saw it, and it was cool. Love you, bye. All right, we're back. About 4, 4.15, 4.25, somewhere around 4. We've uh, given ourselves till between 4 and 5 to find the perfect spot to uh, camp for the night. So this is spot one that we stopped at. I think you can tell why we would have. We still got about 30 to 40 more minutes to go on our hour of spot picking. We have vetoed this spot for one reason only, is that we're, we are expecting rain tonight, tomorrow, so we want to be able to have the tent fly and the tarp over it. Um, that was my phone, not a real bullet. Um, to be able to keep the tent dry as possible. This sandbar is narrow. If it were to rain a lot and the water rise, we would be in trouble on this one. Um, there's really nowhere to tie off the tarps and the flies, so that's why this spot number one was vetoed. But if we weren't expecting rain, I think I would be camping here tonight. But we must venture on to find the perfect spot. Isn't that right? There's Katie over here. Huh? Yeah. 
We haven't seen that all day till about right now. It's really pretty colors, colors all together. That blue, deep green, white, and a dark brownish black river. It's awesome. How beautiful this water is. Is that a snake? No, it's not. Katie's cold. <laughs> Got a towel on. Shower water's not really getting warm. <laughs> you have no warm shower. I wasn't really expecting one. I wouldn't jump in the river for my shower. Anyway, I'm having the best birthday I've ever had. Aww. See y'all next time. Well, if we dock, we'll be all right. All right, this is potential spot number two. We are in the, you know, the range of time where we're trying to pick the perfect spot to camp. The reason why we're going to let this go is because the spots that are next to the trees we're going to need to tie off the uh, tarp and the slides to. Katie, we're going to have to, are you going to be able to get, you got it? Are you sure? Katie's got this. We got, we're coming up directly on some trees up here. Yeah, she's got it. Um, the reason why we're not stopping here is because that area next to the trees is grass. We want a spot that we could be on. A, we could be on a high spot on a sandbar in case it floods, and we want to be on sand and next to a tr to a canopy of trees that could both serve as tie downs for our flies and tarps and for windbreakers. But this is, I mean, this is just, this, this is just awesome. I, I love this. This could be the spot right here. Is this spot number three coming up? See, I, see, I actually said a while ago that I got a feeling that around this bend is going to be the perfect spot. So I'll keep it rolling right now. Whoa, whoa, there's like a tree down. I'm going to have to put the phone down. Nah. Uh, is this the spot? It could be. Which tree? Do you want trees on the sandbar or trees up ahead of us on the river? Trees on the sandbar. Do you like it? I love it. It's very narrow though. I, it doesn't matter. I love it. I love it too. But look how narrow the sandbar is, though. It's okay. No, it's not. If it not if it yet. if it floods, it won't get that high. Is this the spot we're staying at? Yeah, I think so. Don't you think? I'm not. No, I'm not. I mean, we can stop and look it out. We can check it out. You just don't want to stop. We're gonna fish the whole river. I just want to be on the perfect spot. This. If it happens to flood, it's not going to. It's not going to get that high. You heard our guy tell us if it if it if it thunderstorms and floods on this river, that it could raise up three to four feet in a few hours. And if that happens right here, that could be an issue. It's not. It's not. We need a big sandbar. <laughs> this is a beautiful one. I I agree. Wait, let's stop and look at it, though. <laughs> uh, look at this. Katie's actually paddling us away.
bad spot up there, though. That little cove up there. Is that it? <laughs> Is it? I told you my concern. All right, people, that was spot number three that we have vetoed. I, I might have, no, there's no might have to it. I'm vetoing it just because I have a, I have a certain uh, uh, rule of thumb that it has to pass. That's too narrow. If the river were to come up fast, we would be, we would be in a bad situation quick. And I'd rather, I'd rather have a little buffer zone where I stay the night here tonight. But that is a beautiful spot. And if, and if I wasn't expecting rain, <laughs> we would stay there. So that's spot number three. Uh, stay tuned for spot number four. Hopefully that's all we stay in. Love you, bye. All right, we are back. And I can't remember what spot this is. We've, we've vetoed like three or four since I last recorded. I think this might be it. I mean, because you got to think about the, the reason why we haven't stopped yet is it's not a perfect sandbar with trees type tarps because we're expecting rain. This sandbar is obvious that it has been chipped away by rising rain le river levels. And it's even have got like a third layer up here. So I think just the way the river bends here and the way this one's shaped, that I think that we're good here. The structure of this one seems good as far as look I mean look this is just the bottom level we're gonna plan on camping up on this level and we have these bushes back here to tie to I think this is it this is it look at the view this way and look that way we have a little creek right over there look this this is our spot that we're camping on the first night on the Blackwater River. Perfect spot. Yeah. Perfect spot. Over now. Okay, we are at our campsite. We have everything set up. Gathering firewood. And Superman here. Walked across the river, and he has a ton of firewood. Bringing it back over to our camp. The water has been described as refreshing, and I think that means cold. He said he has, he's river blood, young blood. <laughs> we'll be back. Are you on video? Now you're on video. Found some firewood. <laughs> Found some firewood. All right, well, the most important thing we have to report at this point is that uh, we just saw what we thought was an osprey. It flew out the woods startled. Katie's face, when she saw it, uh, told me that it was definitely something that she's never seen before. And I turned around and I only caught the tail end of it. But ospreys are big, huge birds, and they're, and they're kind of bold like a big cat would be, like a bobcat or a... Uh, mountain lion, tiger, lion. He flew back over, like, just right above us, like, checking us out. I hate we didn't have that on video. Anyway, we are hunkering down for the storm. Got some nice little beach fire going. Do I need to go tend to? 
and I'll see you back. Good morning, everybody. We've survived our first night on the river, and here's little grumpy Katie. Stop, don't rain. Back water. Okay, you're being a grumpy kid. No, you're being annoying. <coughs> Very beautiful morning on the Blackwater River. Oh, Blackwater. Don't drown on me. Keep, me, keep on drowning on me. Seven thirty in the AM. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Looks like we might have dodged the rain. But we we're prepared for it. back um we're gonna get some video footage of these prints kind of big i don't know what it be didn't hear any big animals came in camp but looked like we were visited by one some sort What is that? <coughs> Over here looks like a raccoon. Up here. Raccoon. Maybe they might be there, but I don't know what those big ones are. Bobcat. Like what a river wolf? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out. Lucky, like we did last night. It kind of looks like it's dispersing before it gets here, like we're. Our like energy some is. Some sort of energy is creating a, a little little force field. <laughs> At least that's what I'd like to think. Over now. Ten AM Saturday morning, Blackwater River. Rain. Very a very peaceful rain. All right, we just passed under Bryant Bridge and we stopped to have a little lunch. It's about 2.30 on Saturday. It it ended up clearing up. Um, it's been a perfect little couple of hours since we left the last camp. We Our plan is to um, go a little about an hour more. Uh, the, the guy that we put in the canoe with told us that Bryant Bridge means there's about Four hours left of the trip, so I mean we got a whole another night and a day. So don't want to do too much tomorrow since we got to drive back. So there's another helicopter. Um, 
So we we're only, you know, get about two hours, two about three hours to do tomorrow. Got to bright and early and get knock it out and drive back. It's been an awesome trip so far. We haven't found a good sandbar here. And there's another it's the same one right now. Katie is uh, getting some sunflower seeds. We just encountered the first people besides the weirdo on the sandbar. And the whole trip at the bridge. There's a little boat, boat full of youngins. Um, they went on the head of us. I think their dads would like drop them off and we would go meet them down there, probably at the bridge that we're going to. Anyways, perfect little trip so far. We really encountered some rain. Didn't, didn't put any damper in our game. No. Nope. But if we're about to lose the canoe. Um, don't lose the canoe. I'm cleaning. Cleaning you have a haze on it. Yeah, it's got a haze. <gasps> yep, Katie just fell in the water. <laughs> Babe. Don't tip the canoe. Yes, I'm not gonna tip the canoe. I want to turn. Look at that. We've encountered other people now. Okay. And people we encounter other but kids. Huh. This is something you don't see every day. We have a waterfall <laughs> and a perfect sandbar for night two. This is the first stop we made, but we had a goal. Came out of nowhere. And our goal was to get past the last bridge and get a good way. We got about, eh, I wanted to go an hour. We probably went 45 minutes or so. That's still going to be plenty of time. I mean, we will get up early and we might even be done with this before noon if we wanted to, but anyway, this is a perfect spot to camp tonight. Uh, this little waterfall right here, so we'll have that ambient for the evening. Kind of wanted to put the tent underneath that tree over there, but okay, didn't make a point. If it does seem like it's leaning a lot if the wind came. In other words, you don't want a tree to fall on your head. So I agree. 
So we're going to put it under nice big shade tree. Obviously somebody has had the same thoughts we had recently with the remnants of an old campfire. Katie's already making camp. Good job, baby. But yeah, this is going to be good. Already, we're going to be swimming out there in a little bit. Stepping around in the water. Uh, previous uh, video, not chronologically anyway, we it's obviously a, this spot is like, you know, this, this river is, I mean, we're actually very close to like Destin and a lot of the resort towns of Florida. And uh, uh, there's a bunch of, I, I assume that they're locals. And this is where they come to learn to skimboard so they can impress people out on the real beaches. Maybe, maybe not. But anyway, they were practicing skimboarding on a river. And it's a pretty unique, awesome facility for that type of thing because they can run out on these sandbars, get as fast as they want, and then jump and learn how to balance themselves on those things. You know, it's, I think it's a pretty cool training facility. Um, this is a cool place in general. Well, I might better help Katie make camp. So, over now. We have a waterfall. We have a waterfall. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's cold. I would swim up in there, but I'm scared of moccasins. I don't want you to swim up in there. Not scared of them. Worried one might get on me. Yeah, if I got bit by a moccasin. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's our camp. Camp. Camp Blackwater number two. Uh, yeah, number two. The first night we won't, we weren't naming them Camp Blackwater yet because we weren't really on the Blackwater. We were on the Blackwater, but not in the canoe. It's a real cool spot. We're here early. We only got probably like three and a half more hours to go, four hours. So we'll be able to knock that out tomorrow easily and get back to Mississippi. But yeah, this is a good spot to be as far as the length of the trip and where we're at. And beautiful. And we got a waterfall. We got a waterfall. This is the beginnings of campfire number three. We're starting pretty early tonight just because, you know, just to have a good beach bonfire going the whole night. All the woods wet, little wet. This one's a little harder to start than the rest of them, but you can see, I think we got it covered. Um. We got a lot of big logs to burn a long time. I think this is going to be a great campfire night. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
can't imagine life getting any better than this. We have a waterfall. Well, phone went dead last night, so I didn't get to video any of our trip today or take any pictures, but we made it off the river, we loaded our angel up, packed everything up, we're headed back. It was back. a beautiful day. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. Beautiful end of the trip. Beautiful end of the trip. We're headed back to Mississippi. I'm kind of craving a Whopper, so hopefully there's a Burger King <laughs> along the way pretty soon. <laughs> but uh, we've had a nice trip. Uh, love y'all over now.